I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will factor trinomials. In fact, we will find the missing coefficients. Question is 2x square minus ax minus b is equals to 2x plus 3 times x minus 2. We need to find what values of a and b are, right? So that is what we need to do. So in this case, what we will do is we will expand the right side. So the strategy is expand right side, correct? And then you can compare. So that is uh, that is one strategy you can apply. So this is one strategy. Now there is another alternate strategy which can help you find the answer without even expanding. So let's talk about the alternate uh, strategy. So that is if I multiply these two numbers what I get is this number, right? So that is what this alternate strategy is. So we can write down answers directly even without expanding. So we'll say minus b is basically equal to 3 times minus 2 is basically equal to 3 times minus 2 uh, which is minus 6. So b is equal to 6 for you. As far as a is concerned, the center term, so we say minus a is equal to product of these two, right? So uh, the outer and the inners, right? So so 2x and minus 2, we will not write x well, because we are just taking coefficient of x. So 2 times, so let me write down. So we will do 2 times minus 2 and 3 times outside and inside terms, right? So you could write ax, okay, let me write ax minus ax should be equal to 2x times minus 2. So let me write 2x times minus 2 plus 3 times x, right? So we have minus ax is equals to minus 4x plus 3x, which is minus x. And if you compare, a is equals to 1. You get the idea. So you get your answer that the expression should be 2x squared minus x and b is 6, so minus 6. That should be your left side, right? Let me show you how you get the answers by expanding. So that is the first method, right? But this is, uh, those of you who know uh, this kind of a rule, for them it is very fast. So let us expand 2x plus 3 times x minus 2. So that basically means I'll multiply with 2x, both the terms. We get 2x squared minus 4x. Now I'll multiply by 3. So we get plus 3x minus 6. Correct? So we get four terms. First two terms I got by multiplying 2x with x and minus 2. So those were the first two terms. And the next two terms I got by multiplying 3 with x and minus 2. Right? So now you can combine the like terms. You get 2x squared minus 4x plus 3x is minus x and minus 6. So once you combine, you can compare with what is given to you. You are given 2x squared minus ax minus b, right? So from here, you can compare and write down that a equals to a equals to plus 1 and b equals to plus 6, right? So we get the same answer, right? So we get the same answer. Anyway, you can adopt any method you feel comfortable with. Thank you and all the best.